A story for you. But first, just listen. What can you hear? Can you hear the sound? Can you hear the sound of the blackbird? What a beautiful song. Right. City Green by Anne DeSalvo Ryan. There used to be a building right here on the on this lot. It was three floors up and down. An empty building nailed up shut for as long as I could remember. My friend Miss Rosa told me Old Man Hammer used to live there, some other neighbours too. When I asked him about that, he only hollered, SCRAM! Old Man Hammer, hard as nails. Can you see? Last year, Two people from the city came by, dressed in suits and holding papers. They said, this building is unsafe, it will have to be torn down. By winter, a crane with a wrecking ball was parked outside. Mama gathered everyone to watch from our front window. In three slow blows, that building was knocked into a heap of pieces. Then workers took the rubble away in a truck and filled the hole with dirt. So children, you can see that they're all watching this building being knocked down. Can you see? Now this block looked like a big smile with one tooth missing. Old man Hammer sits on his stoop and shakes his head. Look at that piece of junk land on a city block, old man Hammer says. Once that building could have been saved, but nobody even tried. And every day when I pass this lot, it makes me sad to see it every single day. Right, so Old Man Hammer was very upset that that building had been torn down and now there was a big gap between the houses. Then spring came and right on schedule, Miss Rosa started cleaning her coffee cans. Miss Rosa and I kept coffee cans outside our windowsills. Every year we buy two packets of seeds at the hardware store, sometimes marigold, sometimes zinnias. And one time we tried tomatoes. We go to the park, scoop some dirt and fill up the cans halfway. You see? What a fantastic idea to use old tin cans as planters, children. Something to think about. This time Old Man Hammer stops us on the way to the park. This good-for-nothing lot has plenty of dirt right here, he says. Then all at once I look at Miss Rosa and she is smiling back at me. A lot of dirt, Miss Rosa says. Like one big coffee can, I say. What are they thinking, children? What do you think? That's when we decided to do something about this lot. Quick as a wink. I'm digging away, already thinking of gardens and flowers. But Old Man Hammer shakes his finger. You can't dig more dirt than that. This lot is city property. What do you think? It belongs to the city, it belongs to the town. Was she allowed to just dig dirt? Let's find out more. Miss Rosa and I go to see Mr Bennett. He used to work for the city. I seem to remember a programme, he says, that lets people rent empty lots. That means empty spaces, a bit like my allotment. 
That's how Miss Rosa and I form a group of people from our block. We pass around a petition that says, we want to lease this lot. In less than a week, we have plenty of names. So children, a petition is where everybody writes their name down saying that they want to do something important. Okay, so they collected plenty of names. Sign with us, I asked old man Hammer. I'm not signing nothing, he says, and nothing is what's gonna happen. He's a bit of a grump, isn't he? But something did. The next week, a bunch of us take a bus to City Hall. We walk up the steps to the proper office and hand the woman our list. She checks her files and types some notes and makes some copies. That will be one dollar, please. We rent the lot from the city that day. It was just as simple as that. So children, one dollar is American money because this story is set in America. Okay, what do we say? We call it a pound, they call it a dollar. Right, so there we are. They managed to get a plot, just like I managed to get my allotment plot in Peckham. Right, I wonder what's gonna happen next. Oh, look at them. What are they doing? What are they doing, children? Isn't that wonderful? They're all working together. What are they working together to achieve? Can you see? Saturday morning, I'm up with the sun and looking at this lot. The lot is the, um, the plot, okay, the space where they're going to um, clear it and grow plants and flowers, vegetables. Saturday morning, I'm up with the sun and I look at this lot. My mama looks out too. Marcy, she says, and hugs me close. Today, I'm helping you and Rosa. After shopping, mama empties her grocery bag and folds them flat to carry under her arm. Come on, Miss B, Mama tells her friends. We've got to clear this lot. Then what do you know, but my brother comes along. My brother is tall and strong. At first he scratches his neck and shakes his head, just like old man Hammer. But Mama smiles and says, none of that here. So all day long he piles junk in those bags and carries them to the curb. So everybody gets stuck in. Everybody is working as a team. Look at him showing his muscles. Now, this time of day is early. Neighbors pass by and see what we're doing. Most say, we wanna help too. They have a little time to spare. Then this one calls that one and that one calls another. Come on and help, I call to old man Hammer. I'm not helping nobody, he hollers. You're all wasting your time. Saw grapes, my mama says, and saw grapes is right. Just before supper, when we, are when we are good and hungry, my mama looks around this lot. Marcy, she says, you're making something happen here. Isn't that lovely, children? Making something happen. What can you do to make something happen? See what we can learn from Marcy. Have a look at a look again at the picture. Next day, the city drops off tools like rakes and brooms and a dumpster for trash. Now there's even more neighbours to help. Miss Rosa, my brother, and I say, "Good morning," to Old Man Hammer. But Old Man Hammer just waves like he's swatting a fly. Why is Old Man Hammer so mean and cranky these days? My brother asked. Maybe he's really sad, I tell him. Maybe he misses his building. That rotten old building, my brother shrugs. He should be happy the city tore down that mess. Give him time, Miss Rosa says. Good things take time. Why do you think he was sad? Why do you think old man Hammer was sad? What do you think, children? Mr. Bennett brings wood, old slats he saved, and nails in a cup. I knew all along I saved this for something, he said. This wood's good wood. Then Mr. Rocco from two houses down came, carrying two cans of paint. I'll never use these, he said. The colour's too bright, but here, this lot could use some brightening up. Well, here he is, he's brought some paint. 
and he brought, and, and the other gentleman brought some wood. Everybody had something to offer. Well, anyone can tell with all the excitement that something is going on and everyone has an idea about what to plant. Strawberries, carrots, lettuce and more. Tulips and daisies, petunias and more. Sunny turns the dirt over with a, with a snow shovel. Even Leslie's baby tries to dig with a spoon. Imagine, even the baby was digging. For lunch, Miss Rosa brings milk and jelly and bread and, a, and spreads a beach towel where the junk is where the junk is cleared. By the end of the day, a fence is built and painted as bright as the sun. Isn't that awesome? Can you see the baby there, digging with a spoon? Everybody has a part to play, even the smallest baby, imagine. Later, Mama kisses my cheeks and closes my bedroom door. By the street lights, I see old man Hammer come down his steps to open the gate and walk to the back of this lot. He bends down quick, sprinkling something from his pocket and covering it over with dirt. What do you think he's sprinkling, children? Any ideas? In the morning, I tell my brother, Oh, Marcy, he, he says, you're dreaming, you're wishing too hard. But I know what I saw and I tell my mama, old man Hammer's planted some seeds. Right after breakfast, I walk to the back of this lot and there it is, a tiny raised bed of soil. It is neat and tidy, just like the rose we planted. Now I know for sure that old man Hammer planted something. So I pat the soil for good luck and make a little fence to keep the seeds safe. Isn't that lovely? You can just about see her doing that in the picture. Tiny little picture. And there's old man Hammer having a snooze in his rocking chair, you see. Every day I go for a look inside our garden lot. Other neighbours stop in too. One day, Mrs Wells comes by. This is right where my grandmother's bedroom used to be, she says. That's why I planted my flowers there. I feel sad when I hear that. With all the digging and planting and weeding and watering, I'd forgotten about the building that had been on this lot. Old man Hammer had lived there too. I go to the back where he planted his seeds and I wonder if this was the place where his room used to be. I look down, beside my feet some tiny stems are sprouting. Old man's hammer's seeds have grown. I run to his stoop. Come with me, I beg, tugging at his hand. You want to see? I walk him past the hollyhocks, the daisies, the peppers, the rows of lettuce. I show him the strawberries that I planted. When old man Hammer sees his little garden bed, his sour grapes turn sweet. Marcy, child, he shakes his head. This lot was good for nothing. Now it's nothing but good, he says. Imagine that, children, he changed. He said before he used to say it was good for nothing, but now he says it's nothing but good. Isn't that lovely? Look how happy he looks. And what a wonderful thing that little girl has done. Soon summertime comes and this lot really grows. It fills with vegetables, herbs and flowers. And way in the back, taller than anything else, is a beautiful patch of yellow sunflowers. Old man Hammer comes every day. He sits in the sun, eats his lunch and sometimes comes back with supper. Nobody knows how the sunflowers came. Not Leslie, my brother or Miss Rosa. Not Miss Bennett or Sunny or anyone else. But old man Hammer just sits there smiling at me. We know whose flowers they are.
What a gorgeous story, children. What did you learn from this story? What did you like best about this story? What does it teach us? Children, I'd like you to talk to your families about this. All right? Where you can take something that is ruined and in, in, in wrecked and is just rubble and turn it into something wonderful. But it's not just about the plants, isn't it, children? It's about the community, bringing people together and understanding how people feel and also trying really, really hard to make them happy. There's nothing more that can bring people together than a garden, green space, a park, an allotment. So children, think about it. See what you can do. Even if you haven't got a garden at home, you can still grow something. See you next time.